Hey guys, it's Austin with Cork Bouts, and I'm here to break down the end of Tennessee, Georgia from 2016, one of the wildest endings to a college football game of the last decade or so. And, well, it's one of the few Saturdays that didn't end with Vols fans calling for Butch Jones' job. Let's take it back to October 1st, 2016, between the hedges in Athens. There's 19 seconds left in the game with Georgia trailing by four, and Washington Huskies quarterback Jacob Eason is under center for the Bulldogs. The guy apparently really loves dog mascots. Eason drops back to pass and literally just splits the defenders to find Riley Ridley for the go-ahead score. Athens is going absolutely bonkers, except for the Tennessee section. Now, if my math is correct, that's two surrender cobras, two agape jaws. There's a third surrender cobra and the woman from the screen painting. Catalina's probably telling Eason, let's go, wine mixer at my place tonight. Everyone at Sanford Stadium is going wild, probably yelling something like, we're a team from Georgia. No way we blow this. I mean, it's not like this is the 2015 Eastern Conference Finals, the 2014 Eastern Conference First Round, the 2013 Prayer at Jordan Hare, the 2013 NLDS Game 4, the 2012 NFC Championship, the 2012 SEC Championship, the 2012 MLB wildcard game, Super Bowl 33, the 1996 World Series, the 1983 Sugar Bowl, and the Thrashers. But don't worry, you won't be the last team from Georgia to suffer a demoralizing loss. There's also been Super Bowl 51 in 2017, the SEC Championship in 2018, the National Championship in 2018, and Game 5 of the NLDS in 2019. After being flagged for excessive celebration, Georgia kicks off from the 20 and took tackling Evan Berry about as loosely as they took COVID-19 safety measures. Tennessee takes the field with really good field position with four seconds left, which is plenty of time for the hairless Josh Dobbs to do damage. And just a little advice, maybe don't allow a quarterback who's an aerospace engineering major the opportunity to literally air one out. Because he'll probably just get all the angles and trajectory and thrust and lift and drag and other airplane terms correct when calculating his throw. Throwing footballs isn't exactly rocket science, so you can imagine how easy it probably is to a rocket scientist. Or, sorry, a rocket engineer. So he throws it up for grabs, one last prayer, and oh my gosh, a team from Georgia blew a sporting event again. I am shocked. Butch Jones is like, I lost my contacts. Someone help me find them. Alvin Kamara is probably thinking, never mind the amazing win. How am I a backup running back on this team? Josh Dobbs is skipping around like a schoolboy at recess. Oh, hey, look, a fourth surrender Cobra and now a fifth. Butch Jones didn't really win a lot of big games, so he doesn't know what to do. Luckily, the security guard told him. Now, when you watch the play back, Georgia actually had the play well defended. Everyone was covered, except for literally the tallest wide receiver on the field, Juwan Jennings. This was Tennessee's first 5-0 start since 1998. And wait, a minute. Are you telling me it feels like 98? No, no. Trust me when I say this. The rest of the season did not feel like 98.